The first port of call for the Ifad Regional Direct Handers team is this privately owned rice mill in Bidda, which enjoys the support of the organization. The mill has a capacity of producing about 18,000 metric tons of rice annually at farmers in the area as major supplies of the party. This is a very impressive partnership between the producers, the, the private sector and the government. Clearly there are a lot of synergies that are helping to meet the, the market demands and improve the food security of the population. I've been very impressed by the way all the different actors are working in, in good synergy and I think the, the combined investments of the private sector and the government are giving very good results. Next, the team inspects a processing center owned by a women's cooperative society which is supported financially by effort. The women are happy about the progress they have been able to make. Before, they don't know us, but now, every day money we enter our accounts, they need the Kwebo rice. If I gave us NAFDAQ number, they gave us award. We are the best processor in Niger State now. For the EFAD country director Nadine Bosa, the impact of EFAD is the fact that it has contributed to the reduction of poverty and unemployment. We are seeing the impact on the life of the people and our first target is really to invest of people so that we leave this subsistence ag agriculture, we leave this poverty and we are dealing with uh, agri-entrepreneurs, with business women and businessmen in agriculture and we are seeing that. In rice production and processing in Niger State, EFAD has been able to invest over 600 million naira in the last six years. The state government had contributed 150 million naira in the last uh, six years. So this is an huge investment and we can see that uh, Ninja State is becoming uh, a state where in processing activities has also picked up not only the production aspect. The team had earlier paid similar visit to local Goma in Washishi local government area where EFAD has established a cassava processing center. The center which has engaged more than 100 women and youths is into gari production and other byproducts of cassava which are sought for within and outside the state. Emperor Simon, Channels Television News.